I'm Jessica Gaudet with your Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with the weather. Here's Mark. We actually have a storm heading in our direction, but it's kind of in name only. As this thing comes out of the Pacific and over the Baja over the next 24 hours, it will work its way in our direction. Partly cloudy skies for tomorrow. And then tomorrow night as it comes through, maybe a spot shower, but it's going to lose most of its juice on the way in here. And our best chance for picking up rain or snow will come over the weekend. Police say they've busted a prostitution ring that was being run out of an Albuquerque hotel. Police swarmed the Econo Lodge near Eubank and I-40 this morning and pulled out eight people in handcuffs. Detectives say they've learned about the operation after one of its customers called police saying he'd been robbed. Police won't say for sure if part of this hotel had become a rented brothel over the past few weeks, but they are questioning how an advertisement for an escort service was linked to so many rooms. The hotel manager says the man who rented the room said he needed them for his construction crew. Police are still questioning him. An Albuquerque handyman accused of murdering a woman he was working for turned down a plea deal once and for all today. Police say Kenton Warnock confessed to a cousin that he beat and strangled 61 year old Peggy O'Neill in her home back in 2009. Prosecutors offered him a deal that would have put him away for anywhere from four to 34 years. He turned it down, deciding he'd rather go to trial, even though he could face 89 years if he's found guilty. No trial date has been set yet. Join us for the latest local news, weather and sports tonight at 10.